Hello and welcome to ITNs. So we have covered quite a bit on Python, isn't it? I mean, in the earlier session, in the previous session, we looked at uh, Python modules. We had a small video about the interaction and we also saw how we can import the modules, right? In this session, we are going to look about nested functions. Yeah? And we are going to talk about how we can utilize them, how we can call uh, the uh, outer function in the uh, nested function right? or the inner function uh, so we are going to see some small example of creating a square um, of, a, of, a, of a rectangle and we are going to find the area of it uh, of the rectangle and uh, see how we can utilize so the, the, the idea behind this is we are going to actually test out uh, the nested functions with the example of square of a rectangle yeah or sorry the uh, with the example of area of a rectangle all right great uh, before i move on uh, please do click on the thumbs icon and uh, do subscribe to the channel feel free to share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also take the benefit of learning python free of course all right great i'll see you in the session then thank you Welcome back to ITNs. So in this session, we are going to talk about nested functions. Okay. So what are nested functions? A function which is defined inside a function that is called as a nested function, right? Yeah. It's simple put. Uh, uh, yeah. That is how a nested function is going to be defined. So let's look at the example on um, on the nested function and see how we can make use out of it. Yeah so in this session what we are going to do is we are going to test the uh, nested function by creating a, a python program to calculate a square of a rectangle right so i'll put it as a string this is a small program to calculate Square of a rectangle using nested function. All right? Great. So let's first define L. L is equals to int input and then quotes and turn the value for length key uh, and then after close similarly we have to define the breadth so int input I missed one quote here and I have to close one here yeah. so in input and turn the value of breadth and then bracket close and bracket close right so um, now what? Okay, uh, there is a typo here, so we'll update it here. Okay. So now what we have done is we have taken the uh, uh, define the variable uh, to accept the values length and breadth. So now what we need to do is we need to define a function, say calc, that uh, close, which has two arguments and Back to close with quotes enter right now um, this is the outer function yeah 
right? Now, what we need to do is we need to define the inner function, right? So, what, what now next, uh, let's go with define uh, the register function area. Yeah, and then which has the arguments length and breadth. Yeah, and then okay, I uh, missed the quotation. Yeah, and um, let's give a this is the example, or this is the mistake. Uh, function right then uh, we need to print or uh, first we need to do this square sq is equals to l into b yeah because area is length into breadth right and then we need to click on uh, we need to get the output right so we need to do print uh, on bracket open the area of rectangle is and then close comma escape yeah that's good right now let's close the function so uh, let's close first the inner function or the listed function so how we do it we do it by this right and then what we need to do is uh, auto function right okay so before we move ahead uh, since we have closed this area right so actually we should be doing as l b yeah um, but since we have already defined this um, these two arguments in this function so it's not required uh, to define those arguments here yeah, so what I can do is I can actually go ahead and remove it, all right? Great, so uh, now what we need to do is we need to close on uh, the outer function. So what we need to do is cal L comma B, yeah, right? So what we have done is we have first taken the uh, two variables L and B, and then we have actually defined function cal with two arguments l and b that will have the value of the values that are going to be taken as an input from the user and then we have defined the inner uh, function or the nested function that is through def area and, and that's how we have defined sq is equals to ln to b and then we have to we have done the print uh, the area of the rectangle is this and then uh, we have closed first the inner function area and then the second function outer function cal right so uh, as you can see in this example we have uh, the 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 value which will be defined before, uh, in the outer function we are getting used to those values for the inner function or the nested function and that's how we are going to get the output of it right now let's give it a try okay so before that before we move ahead let's save it so i've done it as control s and then function f5 okay that's how i'm going to run the program on my laptop right so it is asking for the first value okay let's do this so it's asking for the first value right okay um yeah this one yeah so it's asking this one l right so enter the value of length right so let's give a value as 34 right and now it's asking for the value of uh, breadth so it's, let's give as 43 right and now what it is going to do is it is going to take those values and put it in this function cap correct and then uh, this function the nested function area it's going to square it it's going to do as sq is equals to length 34 into breadth 43 right and then it is going to print that so again i'm repeating that we have defined those values in the outer um, outer function right and getting uh, making use of those values in the nested function all right let's see 
yeah so we can see i mean we have put the value of uh, 1462 we can cross cross check if that is fine or not uh, by uh, by directly doing the length into breadth 34 into 43 and we get 1462 yeah so it's proven i mean we, we saw how the nested functions work right i mean we were able to find uh, we were able to define the values in the auto function and we were able to utilize that in the inner function yeah great uh, that's all guys for this particular session uh, i hope you enjoyed it please do uh, click on the thumbs icon and do subscribe to the channel also please feel free to share this video too with your friends and colleagues so they can also get used to and make uh, the use of those uh, features that i'm posting up okay Great. That's all, guys. Thank you. And keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.